Thank you, Gretchen. Good evening, everyone. Um, just want to like to say it's an honor to be here before to speak speak to you tonight, and I've got quite a few things I'd like to cover and just discuss with you. But first, I want to um, introduce one of our authority board members, Mr. J.C. Cunningham. He is a representative from the city on on the Valdosta Lowndes County Parks and Recreation Authority. So. Thank you for being here, J.C., tonight. One of the things I wanted to, to, to discuss with you is, first and foremost, our mission statement, and that is to provide quality recreation in parks and advance environmental conservation, which promotes the highest quality of life for the entire community. You know, we, we, have, we have many programs at Parks and Recreation that, that we offer, and, and some of the things that we do is we have four divisions. We have a recreation division. We have an athletics division. We have parks and facilities division. And we also have a special events division. And with that, we have, for instance, if, if you all will look, I think each one of you have um, the packets that I've prepared for you tonight. And that just gives you a little bit of some of the services and programs that we provide for our residents here in, in Valdosta Lowndes County. And really and truly, we have something for everyone. And from, you know, preschool to, to middle school grades to high school to senior citizens to um, children and adults with disabilities, seniors, we, we have something to offer for everyone. And we're very blessed here in this county to, to be able to have a, a great staff and that, that does a wonderful job providing services and programs for the community. And just to give you a little snapshot of um, some of the, the number of parks and facilities that, we, that you currently have here in, in Lowndes County, we have a total of 44 parks. We have over 850 acres of parkland. We have close to 25 athletic fields. We also have 11 tennis courts, 20 plus playgrounds, over 25 picnic shelters, and over 13 miles of trails that we currently have here in Lowndes County. Um, one of the things that we are looking to, to, to try and do right now, which is really, I will tell you, a very important Probably one of the most important times for Valdosta Lowndes County Parks and Recreation is the beginning of 2012. In our bylaws, it is required that we update a five-year comprehensive system-wide Parks and Recreation Master Plan. And this is something that the Authority Board has approved for this budget year, and we're in the starting that process right now. And with this, what we're looking to do is going out to seven or eight different sites throughout the county and we want to hear from you. We want to know what you all would like to see when it comes to quality of life. Not what I want, not what the Parks and Rec staff wants, and we're part of that process too, but we want to hear from you. We want to know what, you know, if it's more greenways, if it's more blueways, if it's more athletic fields, seniors, whatever it may be. Um, this will be your time to come out and make that that known, because you know we need we need to learn we learn more from folks like you. I mean, we do have our specialization areas, but there are a lot of things out there that you know we may the current programs and services that we're offering. Yes, we are meeting the demand of many residents in this count, not just this county, but you know counties that adjoin us as well. But we may, there are many people out there that we're not even touching. There are things out there that we are not, you know, may not be offering. So this will be an awesome opportunity for each and every one of you to come out. And I challenge you to please come out and be a part of this process. Um, so we'll be having um, focus group meetings in the northern part of the county here in the city. Um, south side area will be in the Lake Park area. And so this will be an, a great time for you to um, just be a part of that process. One of the couple of things I just want to highlight that we work with as far as special events in our community, we do the Honey Bee Century Ride, Bike Ride, the 4th of July fireworks show that you all see every year, that, that is paid for by you. Um, 
that is something that is important to Parks and Recreation. And as you can see, all the folks that come in in July for that event, it's just a great, not only for our local residents, but a huge economic impact for our community as well. I mean, people come in and make it almost an all-day event to, to see that to the, see that show. We also work with the Isaiah Festival Century Bike Ride, that the uh, Fish and Rodeo. We do the local Special Olympic Games. So, and another program that we're really excited about that we're doing that's really started is the uh, Mildred Hunter Center's Remote Control Car Club Races. And that this is a program that um, our supervisor down there partnered with Home Depot and they've worked together in, in putting a RC track there at Volaton Park. So it's really um, one of its kind. There's not many um, tracks like that in the in, around in South Georgia and people come from all over to just do RC racing. So those are just some of the things that, 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 we're, that, that, we're, that we're trying to do. Um, 